Hey guys, today we will learn how to create simple and easy text in Blender. In this video, I will show you guys two different techniques. One will be the simple and easy straightforward one and the second one will be for those who like to try something different. I'm your host roguenight 3 d Let's begin with the tutorial. Shift A, select text. You can press tab to edit it and write anything you want. Now go to the text properties. In geometry, we can extrude it a little, something like 0.15 might be enough. So uh, we can change uh, we can change the font from here. You can choose any font of your own liking. And in paragraph, we can align it to whatever style you want. I'm gonna keep it on center. Now right click and convert it to mesh. As we can see, the geometry is quite messed up. I'm gonna turn on wireframe so we can see it in object mode as well. So this is what we have now, which uh, isn't usable at all. So a quick fix is to go to the modifiers tab and select decimate. Nothing happened, but if we select planar, you can see just by a single click, it's much cleaner. So this is what we had before and now we have this. I'm gonna turn off wireframe and also apply the decimate modifier. Now right click, shade smooth, normals auto smooth. I'm gonna move it to the side, shift D to make a duplicate. Now I will be showing you guys two different methods here. Select the first text, tap to go to the edit mode, A to select all of the vertices, then press M to merge. Select by distance. And for the other text, we won't be doing anything. But still you can see, both are the same, we can move them both easily. You might be saying, why we even merged when nothing even happened. Yeah, nothing happened. If you want to use it like this, you can uh, totally use it. You don't have to merge anything. But if you want more control of your text, you sure don't want to stop here. So go to the edit mode, select all of the vertices by pressing A. Now right click, separate, separate by loose parts. What it did here is that it made each and every letter a separate object of its own. I'm gonna tab out of object mode, press M to move all of the selected letters to a separate collection. I'm gonna repeat the same process on this one as well. Like go to the edit mode, select all of the vertices, right click, separate by loose parts and uh, move them to their own collection. Now we have two texts. The first one where we merge the vertices and the second one on which we did nothing. So if we try to move a single letter here, we can see that we can move it. But if I try to move this one, what just happened here? If we have a closer look, we can see the top, the mid and the bottom are three separate objects. Same goes for every other letter here. So how can this be useful? Before digging deep into that, we just uh, saw that our origins are uh, in different places. It's good practice to have your origin in the correct place so you don't have any problem rotating and scaling them later. And to fix it, just press A to select all of the letters, go to object, set origin, origin to geometry, and it's fixed, like uh, you can see here. Well, I'm gonna make this text unique a little bit by just moving, rotating, and scaling it. So this is what we have now. Same thing can be done to the other text. We can do that by just uh, selecting all of the three parts or making a parent or use an empty and make it look like the same, like this other text. But I'm not gonna do that. We can talk about some other stuff which can also be done. What I will do here is that I will scale down the top. We can see we can do a lot on the middle part here now. Like add textures, make it thick by using solidify. And uh, we will have our text sitting right inside this mesh. Like imagine you can uh, make the back side emitting light and our text, that's our front face, uh, which will be the main letter sitting inside a case or uh, any mesh. Or you can use an array modifier on your top face. Like go to the modifiers tab, array. I don't know, but relative isn't working for Z axis in this case. So we will use constant x value to 0 and uh, change z to 0.3 actually make it negative 0.3 i will not be cleaning it up but uh, you can take your time you can extrude the top plane 
apply the array modifier use different materials on all of the new geometry like uh, some of the faces are emitting light some are not you can clearly see it's looking quite different and not boring at all and much more can also be done you can now take your time and modify the rest of the letters i won't be doing it because i don't want this video to get longer but uh, i hope you all got my point hope you learned something new and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already well this is it for today see you soon in the next video you all take care till then and happy blending